in this last lecture of this module, we'll just talk about how organizations could establish their motivational strategies. First of all, most motivation is more than just a tool that managers can use to foster employee loyalty and boost productivity. It's a process that affects the relationships within the organization and influences many areas such as pay, promotion, job design, training, opportunities, and reporting relationships, as well as the overall trust the institution has and the employees have among one another. Employees are motivated by the natures of, uh, nature of the relationships they have with their colleagues and their supervisors and by the nature of their jobs and the characteristics of the organization. Businesses have come up with different ways to motivate employees, including rewards such as trophies and plaques to show the company's appreciation. Even the economic environment can change, as in, uh, can change and have an impact on the employee's motivation. In a slow growth or recession economy, sales can flatten or decrease and morale can drop because of the need to cut jobs or to uh, perhaps uh, stop giving out raises or limit the amount of raises. In the most recent recession, many workers feared losing their jobs and increased the amount that they were saving. The firm may have to work harder to keep good employees and motivate all the employees to work to overcome obstacles, particularly in difficult times. In good economic times, employees may be more demanding and be on the lookout for better opportunities, being willing to jump jobs. New rewards or incentives may help motivate workers in such economies to stay with the organization. Motivation tools then, then must be varied as well, depending upon the situation. This table shows a few different um, different ways to motivate individuals, and it shows companies that have excellent motivational strategies, um, along with the different types of strategies that they use. You can see 3M, they give people time to go do their own uh, innovation and creativity. Google offers massages every week and free gourmet lunches, tuition reimbursement, even some things like a volleyball court. Whole Foods, in their cases, employees receive discounts on the company's products, for example. Patagonia offers yoga and aerobics, child care, those kinds of things to their employees. The Container Store provides employee training and hosts uh, We Love Employees Days. Uh, Southwest Airlines gives employees permission to talk to the passengers as they, fee as they see fit and provides free and discounted uh, programs uh, for them to be able to use the service that Southwest offers. Now, Nike, Nike has tuition assistance, discounts, different things like that. You can see looking at these various companies that each of them, Apple for example, this innovation, innovative work environment, um, encouraged to have debates, Marriott and Zappos, different companies offer different kinds of environments. Keeping in mind that all of this, if you have a great place to work with great people, it's fun to go to work, you work hard. And that's sort of the logic of it. Uh, with that, we'll wrap up this lecture on, uh, or this module. Um, on motivation and we'll um, go into the discussion. I hope that you'll participate online with the Moodle discussion. So let's talk about some of the discussion questions on Moodle for this for this uh, module. Uh, you might want to answer why managers need to understand the needs of their employees. Why is that important? You might want to look at the McGregor theory X and theory Y. What contrasts the assumptions between the two? And why is theory why so much more the focus of what organizations are trying to accomplish these days than theory X? Um, also, name some flexible scheduling strategies people use um, and how they and talk about how they can motivate people. And lastly, talk about or think about some job design strategies and how those will have an impact. Um, I look forward to looking through and reading and participating with you in the discussion online. We'll see you there.